we thank God for uh, day 24th and we are excited that the Lord has given us the gift of life and the hope of eternity. I've already said when you wake up in the morning and you see the dawn of a new day, you can't take, we can't afford to take that for granted, for sure. It is not about our ability, it is not about our strength, it is not about our wisdom or the carnal mind. It is all attributed you know, to Him. It is all for Him, by Him and in Him that He has given us uh, the gift of life. And uh, you know, it, it is all about Him. Every time you know, somebody, you know, we rise up and we see the dawn of a new day, we have all the reason to worship Him, to adore Him and to glorify his name so we are so grateful that the whole of this month the lord has been with us i thank god for everything the lord has done uh to us and for us i thank him for what he's doing even this particular morning and i thank him for what he has in store for our future you know for our tomorrow uh, that's why uh, we have to shake off every dust of yesterday we have to come out of yesterday we must purpose uh, to forget our yesterday and allow the lord to do the new that he's already doing uh, and uh, uh, the new the Lord is doing it's such a you know it's such a new thing you know it's such a new thing it's a new thing uh, because it's our new day and uh, it's a, such a new thing and, and we must purpose to perceive it for ourselves and you know perceive it by ourselves it's an individual responsibility so we must get hold of it and uh, be able to learn with it by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ so we, we are so grateful and uh, we, we, are, we are very happy uh, there is something I said uh, some some days ago I think it's one and a half years ago or so or, or, or two years uh, you need to check that on uh, on our walls you know are a prophetic word and I, I believe it is time now for that word uh, to be fulfilled uh, the Lord had spoken and said uh, we, we shall see uh, no stone will be left unturned uh, we shall see a lot of exposure uh, and a lot of unveiling of some wicked schemes of the enemy that have been going on under the carpet and uh, this exposure was coming from the US it was coming from the US and um, uh, that exposure was going to reveal uh, so much a lot of conspiracies uh, that have been going on under, underneath, particularly touching a uh, human race. And, um, you know, uh, we, are, we are in that time, we are about to see, uh, you're about to hear women speak in the U.S. The exposure was coming from a certain woman. Uh, you know, uh, we, we are going to see um, the heat, uh, the spiritual heat is going to be too much uh, to the workers of iniquity who have been trying to learn ahead of God's time uh, to do their uh, operations. And we are going to see a lot of exposure in the U.S. We shall see a lot of exposures, a lot of, um, you know, uh, revealing of some hidden things and some hidden schemes and some hidden things. And it is going to be, uh, it is going to be, you know, an international attention, you know, and it is going to have some people sued by nations. You remember that word. For those who follow us, you must, you, you should remember that word. And, and uh, you know, we are, we are going to see a nation suing um, nations. And, uh, you know, these are part of where the Bible says nations will rise against nations. So we shall see nations suing nations for roses and what have you. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, a massive thing. So um, I'm preparing the church and uh, you know uh, I spoke to my own daughter my firstborn daughter and I was telling her yesterday night uh, in these days whenever you are you don't have to be near your mama you must be very alert in the spirit only uh, go the direction that is read of the spirit of God uh, because why church it, this one is an individual call it's an individual call to be
be very erect in the spirit and to um to to be able to you know start in your position as an individual as a son of god in that company where the lord has ordered your steps you should be able to start there as an individual in that marriage where god has taken you you know they should lead from you they they should see you know arriving a pistol they should see the sort of the earth they should be able to taste the light of the earth you know the light of the world hallelujah and the sort of the earth hallelujah they should be you know they should they should be gathered from each one of us where we are representing christ and uh, every time you hit your door and you're going out either to the market to the shop uh, and to every part of, of of the world whether in a fright or everywhere when you sit there or you when you start there even buying your grocery do that with that consciousness that i am a son of god and even in what i'm doing here whether in a salon whether in a tailor shop in everywhere whether you, you know uh, we should know and we should live with that consciousness that we are sons of god and if be sons of god we must be read by the spirit of god so this is where we allow the lord to take charge of our lives no matter what and uh, we, we know as we were speaking yesterday that number one we are accountable to him we begin by knowing in whatever i do every day as i had my children as i had my finances you know it is my money yes but who is the owner of the money god own silver and gold amen and we all belong to him so everything about us and what we think we have and what he has given us because it is all coming from him uh, we should be able to uh, to reflect him we should be able to reflect his glory in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so yesterday number 23 day number 23 uh, the lord was speaking to us about accountability we, we should be accountable we should be accountable uh, and uh, number one we should be accountable before even we are accountable to our authorities down down here you cannot be accountable to an authority down here if you're not properly accountable to the God you represent or to the God who is your father you are not able to you cannot lie to us because why it is a spiritual uh, world or the spiritual matters that uh, regulate or that uh, control the human matters uh, all right yeah so day number 24 uh, the spirit of God is speaking to us something here that really excited me when I had that once one word in my spirit yesterday I, I was very excited you know I was very very excited and I was like God uh, this is this is this is what we need amen and uh, as I speak to us I'm also ministering to my spirit because you know it is a two-way traffic we, we also receive the word of God even as we minister to us so the Lord is speaking to us this morning and he's talking about spiritual or prophetic personal checklist uh, uh, spiritual or prophetic personal checklist now uh, we know what a check Christy is. I want to give you a breakdown of the definition of a simple definition of what a checklist is. A checklist is simply a list of items required to be noted. Uh, these are items that are required to be noted. They are required to be checked. They are required to be remembered. Yeah. And number two, a checklist uh, can be a list of things to be done. Okay. Or points to be considered. Amen. It is used as a reminder of things to be done, or things to do, okay, or, or considering doing. All right. Yeah, you know, it, it's kind of a, it is a, it, it is a reminder. It, it, a checklist is meant to remind you, you know, or like now when I'm going to uh, to the supermarket, I always request my children, write for me with my house manager, write for me what is not there. Let me, let me see. So I, I, I go to the shop with, with a wrist, you know, that is written. I can read something that is legible. I can read. And uh, from that, uh, I, I can pick what is a priority and what can, can wait. All right. So um, a checklist, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, the Spirit of God is reminding me something or dropping in my spirit something that it, 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 is, it is used. Or when you have a checklist, you, you, can, you can choose or you can note uh, what is a priority. And we go ticking. Even in the office, you know, you, you, you note down, you jot down uh, what you, you, are, you are supposed to do every day. And you give uh, whatever is supposed to be done, you know, the priority. 
from that checklist. Hallelujah. So you can counter check with that letter or the, at the end of the day or in the month, even uh, for your monthly or a nearly activity, you can have a checklist. So at the end of the day or at the end of the month, you can check, you can counter check whether you have done it okay in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So it calls for a personal responsibility to be able to counter check uh, for each one of us life. You know, it is a, it's a day and day and it helps us to compare what we need to be done. You know, uh, so as children of God, this um, checklist that the Spirit of God is talking about uh, to us, it, 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 it's a reminder, you know, that is supposed to counter, to help us counter, check our ways, you know, our daily ways. It, you should have that in your spirit every day. And it, it, should, it should serve as a reminder to help us know that we are sons of God and to keep us reminded of, of, of what sons do, of how we are supposed to do things, and, and uh, you know, when we are supposed to do them, and where, where we are supposed to do them. That's why from the beginning, in some of the days, you know, the Lord was telling us, guard your heart, guard your tongue, hallelujah, because why, uh, as an individual, that's what we are talking about, uh, how should I dress, you know, fitting for this occasion as a son of God, as an individual. So, before I gather with my brethren, am I okay? Okay. Is, is my tongue okay? Is my heart okay? Is my body okay? Is, uh, is, is everything about me okay? Hallelujah. So that uh, uh, we, we don't cut off the flow of the Spirit of God in our midst because, uh, because of issues of life that are not in line, you know, with, with the Word of God. So our checklist as sons of God it is fully connected to, uh, to, to the Holy Spirit of God. It is fully, because that is where we get our download every Every day it is also fully connected uh, to the word of God because why the word of God is the right unto our path and the lamb unto our feet so uh, it is it serves as a guide the word of God is serving as a guide you know to our daily life so when we have a spiritual uh, personal checklist you are able to check whether you know and, and the spirit thank you Holy Spirit you know and the spirit of God is able to remind you to keep us reminded the Bible says Jesus said uh, to the disciples in the book of John I will not leave you as orphans, another helper, you know, the spirit of truth, my, my, who, who my father is going to say to us. I'm putting us there because we are also we have also uh, we are also a part of that. Uh, so uh, the spirit of God uh, is uh, is able to keep us reminded. This is how we dress in our kingdom. This is the way we speak. That's why anytime you want even to make a speech, you, you know there is that inner voice that is the spirit of, of God that will keep on uh, that will keep you reminded. That will keep you you know uh, cautioned that you don't say such a thing. Shut up. Not not once, not twice, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, and in a voice that is the Spirit of God tells me, shut up, don't say that, hallelujah. At times I want to type, to type something to somebody and the Spirit of God tells me, you know, changes the, the entire thing and I'm typing and when I read that message, I'm like, this is not my message. This one is controlled and it is guided of the Spirit of God because this is not, this is not exactly what I wanted to mean, but the Spirit of God gives me uh, the utterance, you know, the wordings to understand extent that even the receiver of that word, you know, we will see a word that is that is full of the grace of God. You will see a word that is seasoned with the salt. Hallelujah. And that is it. Amen. So, we, 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 the Spirit of God is speaking to us this morning and is reminding us that every moment of our lives, in a, whatever, uh, because each one of us have a calling in the Lord, I've always said, in the kingdom of God, we don't have spectators. We don't have spectators. None of us is going to be a spectator because spectators, uh, for those who have watched uh, even a football match, spectators will always see throws. You know, they will always see problems and issues that the players are not doing. But uh, I, I keep on wondering if somebody is, is taken in there, can they do it better? Can they do it better? Hallelujah. So in the kingdom of God, we don't have spectators. Each one of us has a talent. Each one of us has a deposit from the Father. So we are supposed to uh, to be doing that. That's why at one of the days the Lord was speaking to us and saying, Blessed is that servant, you know, reminding us that we'll be found so doing, not us who did, and we stopped doing. Uh, it, it is the servant who will be found so doing. By the time the master is coming back, this servant will still be found so doing. So it 
it calls for such a personal responsibility where our lives are kept at par, you know, uh, uh, with the word of God. Hallelujah. Uh, is my, 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 my tone okay? Uh, is my dressing okay? Uh, is my daily life okay? And the Bible, you know, I love what the Bible says. Jesus is saying, the Spirit of God will teach us all things. Hallelujah. Uh, and I have always said, my God, when we look at some of these apostles of Jesus Christ, people like Peter, you know, remember one time in the book of Acts, you know, they appeared somewhere and people were astonished and they were like, what, what, what is all, all this about? You know, noting that these guys were unschooled. They had not gone to the other school. Hallelujah. But the kind of things they were doing and the kind of uh, things they were saying, you know, these things dictated to them and uh, everybody could, uh, like what uh, Pharaoh is confessing in, uh, you know, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Egypt, you know, about Joseph, you know, this guy is not on his own. He has not interpreted the dream because he, uh, my dream, my, my two dreams, because he's learned. The Spirit of God is in him. Hallelujah. And, and that is it. So, the Spirit of God will keep us on our toes, spiritual toes, so that we are able to, to have a balanced life. As what uh, Solomon is saying in the book of Ecclesiastes, you know, we have a balanced life. We are able to do things when we are supposed to do them. We are able to say what we are supposed to say, whatever we are supposed to say it for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it calls for such a personal responsibility to be able to counter check. Hallelujah. And it is a daily thing. It is a daily thing. And we are able to compare that with what is written in the word of God. Hallelujah. Because you know the word of God, eh, the word of God is God. Amen. So when we say we belong to him and we are, we, we are his sons, you know, we have his DNA, then we should be able to emanate that. You know, the day that the, 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 you know, the, the, the DNA, we should be able to emanate godliness in every aspect of our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now it calls for uh, it calls for the spirit of uh, it calls for the spirit of revelation. We know that. Hallelujah. Because we have Jesus in us, the hope of glory as a deposit. So the spirit of revelation, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of mind, and the fear of God. Hallelujah. This is where we get that counsel. And, and I'm being reminded of scripture in the book of Psalm, where the, the Bible says that, and God will perfect all that concerns us. Amen. He is able to do that. I love what Paul is saying. Hallelujah. That God is able, you know, he will do, uh, you know, he will do exceedingly abundantly, you know, above even that which we have asked from him uh, by the power or using the power that is within us. Uh, I love what Paul is saying in the book of Philippians chapter 4. You know, he says, and God and my God shall supply all your needs, hallelujah, according to his riches and glory, because it is all about him. It is all about him, hallelujah. So we need to get to get to these levels and to, to have to have a balanced life. We are human beings here on earth, yes, we still have the flesh and we are we are sons of God, so we are spiritual beings on the other hand. So the spiritual life, the, you know, our spirituality should have the upper heart because this body is submitted. We saw that in one of the days. This body is meant to be submitted to the rulership or to the leadership or to the guidance of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So this can only come from the spirit of revelation, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of mind and the spirit of, of, of the fear of God. Hallelujah. Where we get the counsel of God and, and uh, you know and that, that understanding and knowledge it's coming from the word of God. That's why the Bible says my people are the destroyed you know my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge the people of god you know when we don't we, when we when we have not acquired knowledge we are destroyed hallelujah we are destroyed and that is not the desire of god from the beginning we, we should be able to uh to, 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 to start above that and we should be able to live above that by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so uh god is calling um uh God is calling, God is calling upon each one of us to be able to fit into that which God is doing and to be able to, 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 to maintain, you know, to maintain those levels, 
we should be able to maintain those levels by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. And uh, it is not hard. It is not hard when we, we purpose to be led of the Spirit of God. It is not difficult. It is not difficult because we are not doing this on our own. We are doing it in the counsel of the Lord and we are doing it as led by the Spirit of God and it becomes very easy for us as sons of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the people of God are destroyed. We are destroyed when we don't have the knowledge. We are destroyed when we lack that wisdom. So the devil will always get a loophole to mess up with us here and there when we don't have the knowledge. And this, the knowledge is not in any other thing but in the word of God. Hallelujah. It is a, it is a, it is in the word of God. Amen. So we need that. Now one should carry their cross daily. We are seeing that in the book of Matthew. Let, let me read for us these scriptures. They are very sweet scriptures. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 16. Matthew 16. Uh, Matthew 16 and uh, verse 24. Verse 24 and 26. The Bible says Matthew 16 verse 24 to 26. So the Bible says. Then Jesus said to, the, to his disciples, even who are desired to come after me, let him deny. So this is a daily thing. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. The Bible says, for what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange of his soul? Hallelujah. So it is a daily thing, carrying my own cross. It is my cross. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, my burdens. It is, it is a, a daily thing. Hallelujah. I should be able to do that if I decide to follow Christ. So it is a daily thing. This calls for death to self. You know, uh, the cross is simply uh, simplifying there or reflecting there. You know, showing us, you know, what Jesus went through on the cross. Hallelujah. So you carry it. It's about your own burden. You carry it daily. Hallelujah. You know, it's a personal responsibility. Uh, following Christ so that we can make it. Um, uh, we can we can do it daily. You know, and when we follow Jesus daily, he is able to make us. Matthew 4 and verse 19. Matthew 4 and verse 19. When we follow him daily, you know, we are, he is able to make us. Verse 19 of Matthew 4. And verse 19, Jesus, then Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you, hallelujah. You can see the same scripture in the book of Mark 1 and verse 17. So when we carry our clothes daily and for, because we are following Christ, as we do that, he's making us, hallelujah. So our checklist will be kept at par, my God. And, uh, you know, in consideration, uh, we shall be able uh, to discern what, what is of God and what is not of our kingdom. That's why even in this generation, we cannot rule our standard. We cannot compromise. Amen. We cannot, by, 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 by any means, we cannot. Uh, we have already left all and, uh, you know, and for she cannot pursue Christ. And that, that's why we are saying we are born again. Uh, and uh, I want to remind each one of us as we, as we carry on, you know, the, even today with our prophetic personal checklist, you know, uh, making sure that our lives are at par with the will of God, you know, with that we are pursuing the will of God. That's why when Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray the book of Matthew, one of the things he said is that that your will be done here on earth as it has been done in heaven. Hallelujah. And uh, it, it is the will of God that, that should be done in our lives every day. Hallelujah. Here on earth and the download is coming from heaven so how do you connect yourself here on earth you are here on earth and in heaven that cannot be the transaction of the holy spirit of god that's why we are saying we be led of the of the of the of the spirit of god number two we have the word of god that is god himself so when we have the knowledge of the word of god then we are able to uh, to fit into the will of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so jesus came that we uh, we may have life and have it in abundance and um having the destroyed the works of the enemy. Jesus has already, it's not a done deal. He has already destroyed or disarmed the enemy and he has already destroyed the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I have several scriptures today. The Bible says in the book of John 10.10, 10, uh, part B of that, but I'll read from uh, part A of that because we need that scripture somewhere else. The Bible says the thief does not come except to steal, to kill and to destroy. That is the work of the enemy. So we should have our spiritual checklist very arrived every day. 
Hallelujah. So that we can do, know the do's and the don'ts of our kingdom. Hallelujah. Because the thief, you know, I, I'll show you a scripture. He's strolling around like a lowing lion looking for somebody to devour. Because he came to steal. He came, he's a thief. He came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But our Savior has come that we might have life, that we may have, uh, that we might have life and have it uh, more abundantly. We, we are supposed to have an abundant life. Hallelujah. And uh, that's why the Bible says in the book of First John, First John, First John 3 and verse 8, First John 3 and verse 8, First John, First John, First John 3 and verse 8, the Bible says, the Bible says, uh, he who sins is of the devil, are you hearing this? He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So that, that work of killing, stealing and destroying, that work is already destroyed. So uh, that means, my brethren, the devil does not have an upper hand. He does not have an upper hand in our daily walk with God. Satan does not have any upper hand in our daily walk with the Lord. So if we align our lives to the purposes of God, then that is it. Hallelujah. Now we must know Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy. And um, he's strolling aloud like a lowing lion. You can read that in the book of first peter 5 and verse 8 you know first peter 5 let me read for you that just behind the first peter uh verse 5 uh, uh, chapter 5 and verse 8 first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 the bible says be sober you know that is our checklist hallelujah so every moment even as we follow christ hallelujah so that we can make us daily and carry our clothes daily we should be sober hallelujah be vigilant you know, this is our checklist. So every time in my life, I should ensure as an individual, son of God, hallelujah, before I join up as a, as a member of the body of Jesus Christ, I should make sure that I am sober. I should make sure that I am, I am vigilant because you are adversary. He's an enemy. The devil walks around, you know, what's about like a rolling lion seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. But when my life is kept at, a, at power with the word of God, which is his will, you know, and I'm, and I'm having that my daily checklist, you know, every moment I'm having that my checklist in my spiritual womb, in my spiritual uh, uh, life, hallelujah, so that I am able to fit into the will of God in whichever situation. Hallelujah. So this, this enemy that is roaring, like, you know, uh, that, that is moving around like a lowly lion, he cannot, he, he cannot see me. You know, uh, he's walking about. He cannot touch me. He will only testify like what happened in the book of Job chapter 1. You know, God is asking Satan. You know, when the sons of God gathered before God, he was also there. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And uh, you know, God is asking Satan, have you seen my servant Job? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, a man who is blameless, a righteous man. Hallelujah. This is it. So when the devil is walking about, because he, he's still doing it, even this morning, he will, if, if our spiritual uh, personal checklist is okay, he will fight people who are sober. That's what the Bible is telling us to do. He will fight us very vigilant. Hallelujah. So he will not have any loophole through our dressing, through our communication, through our, our daily interaction with our brethren, even the people who are not born again, our neighbors. Hallelujah. He will not have any loophole to still kill or destroy in our destinies in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible shows us how we therefore must be sober. We must be steady fast. We must be immovable. First Corinthians. First Corinthians just behind there. First Corinthians. Uh, the Bible says we have read this scripture before. It has such a, a sweet scripture. The Bible says First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. The Bible says therefore my beloved. Amen. Brethren. Be steady fast. Hallelujah. Be steady fast. Be immovable. Hallelujah. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. This is our checklist. Hallelujah. So daily, as we carry our cross, our personal cross, as we follow Jesus daily, we should be 
immovable. We should be steadfast. We should be sober. We should be uh, we should be vigilant. Hallelujah. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. That means, my brethren, when I purpose as an individual, as a as an individual member of the body of Jesus Christ, when I purpose to live life, when I purpose not to compromise in my in my office where nobody else is seeing me in in our in the church fellowship, where nobody is hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Where nobody monitors how I dress every day. My God, Hallelujah. When, when I remain steadfast, when I remain immovable, when I remain sober, when I remain vigilant as an individual. Hallelujah. So the devil will never get a look. Paul. Hallelujah. Because he cannot tamper with the destiny of a son of God. He may try like what he was allowed to do uh, in the book of Job. But let me tell you the truth. Victory will always be on the side of the children of God. Hallelujah. Because uh, even as we live, I hear the Spirit of God remind me to say this scripture. There is a good work that God began in us and he will still bring that work into accomplishment in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are not on our own. We are not on our own. Amen. And uh, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God remind me. If there is something we are supposed to be pursuing in this hour, is the will of God. Hallelujah. In your marriage, as you wake up this morning, purpose to fit into the will of God. Amen. This is how, this is, this is our main checklist. You know, in, in, the, in our checklist this morning, you know, our personal spiritual checklist, number one should be, God, God, God. Hallelujah. And that is what we are seeing in the Ten Commandments, number one, two, and three. It's all about God. Hallelujah. It is all about God. Amen. Because it is by Him, in Him, and for Him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That, that is why yesterday we were seeing a scripture in the book of Colossians that is saying, you know, whatever you do, either in deed or in word, we do it unto the Lord. Hallelujah. It is all about Him. Our being alive is all about Him. Our speech is all about him our dressing is all about him everything about us is about God in the name of Jesus amen let us go to the word of God in the book of James in the book of James chapter 4 James chapter 4 and verse 7 James, James chapter 4 and verse 7 the Bible says therefore submit to God receive the devil and he will free from you therefore after being sober after being vigilant, after being steadfast, after being immovable, after carrying our cross daily, after following Jesus daily, hallelujah, the Bible is showing us, therefore we submit ourselves to God, and that is an enough sentence, it has a full stop, therefore submit to God, hallelujah, this is where my brethren, we cannot do what we will, amen, we cannot do what we please, hallelujah, we can only do that which is led of his spirit, so we submit ourselves to God. And the Bible says that the sentence that says, resist the devil and he will free from you. The killer will free. The, the thief will free. The destroyer will free. Hallelujah. When we resist him. So we should resist him this morning. Uh, uh, in one, of the, one of the things we should have in our checklist is that Satan will resist you. We resist you in our ministries. We resist you in our personal lives. We resist you in this office where you are working. Say, you just declare that word in the atmosphere. We resist you, Satan. You know, in our marriages, we resist you. In, in our endeavors, we resist you. This day, this, this Wednesday, we resist you in the name of Jesus. We resist you in our minds. We resist you in our thoughts. We resist you in our desires. We resist you in our dressing. So Satan will not have any loophole to, 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 to tempt us, you know, and, and to hurt us as the sons of God. Hallelujah. We resist. That, that means we keep him at a bay. You know, we keep him far from us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, by so doing, we shall keep our eternal checklist, you know, our eternal checklist intact without any mess or without any loss by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Jesus is coming for a bride uh, you know, uh, as we keep our spiritual personal checklist, we should have uh, we should have this uh, we should have this to remind us that Jesus is coming for a bride whom He died for that has no uh, uh, that that has a garment or a garment of the wedding that is blemish. I mean that is that is without blemish, that is a uh, spotless. Hallelujah! Uh, you know, a bride that has no wrinkles, a bride that has no spots. Hallelujah! Jesus is coming for the for the church 
church he died for. You know, be, the, the church is his body, the church that is victorious, the church that is sober, the, 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 the church that has not defiled herself, you know, with, with the things of this world, the, the church that is very sober, the church that is steadfast, church that is, uh, that, that is immovable by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We can read the word of God in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, uh, verse 26 to 28. Verse 26 to 28. That means that we might sanctify, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by, by the word. This is Jesus. Uh, that he might present her. To himself, it is all about Jesus. We are his bride. Present us to, uh, us to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Hallelujah. So husband also. So this is a comparison, a comparison of the the ordinary marriage here on earth. So this is the kind of a bride Jesus is talking about. You know, without spot, without wrinkles, or any other such kind of a thing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So what are we seeing? Uh, we have been looking at some of these things. We must guard our territories in our checklist. You, we must include there. You know how we are supposed to interact with our brethren every day. How we are supposed to behave out here in the marketplace. Hallelujah. How we are supposed to behave before the before the non believers? How we are supposed to handle our husbands or those who are married? Now these are the things we are supposed to have in our personal spiritual checklist. This is what you are supposed to have in your personal uh, 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 checklist. Hallelujah! What is written in the Word of God? How should I handle my government? How should I handle my 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 my, my authorities? Hallelujah! What should I do, my God, when I'm in the midst of my brethren? How should I relate with them? What should I do, you know, to my authorities in the Lord, even to my physical parents? And I want to remind the church one thing. Kaitre, there are three things we should never forget in your life. If you want to see God in this world, there are three things you should never you should never forget in your life. Hallelujah. Number one, you know, uh, Ephesians, Paul is showing us our parents in the Lord. Obey your, your parents in the Lord. Hallelujah. Your parents in the Lord. That, 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 those are the people who minister to your spiritual life. Because then me tell you the truth, my brethren, your spiritual life will always determine your physical life. Hallelujah. If you honor your parents in the Lord, you know, uh, us who minister to you, us who feed you, uh, you know, in the spiritual food and with the spiritual food, you know, the Bible says, obey your parents in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because what we are giving you, even what you are hearing me say the whole of this month, it's not coming from me. I'm just a mouthpiece of God. Hallelujah. Then number two, our parents, our physical parents, Parents, our parents, our mother and the father, the, the, those who bore us physically. Amen. Now, to show you the priority of this matter, when you look at the word of God in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, you will see, hallelujah, God becomes a first priority. So the parents in the Lord, you know, they, they, because let me tell you the truth, they, 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 they determine, you know, our, our spiritual growth, they determine, you know, what we become in the Lord. Because they teach us, they admonish us, you know, and, and they, they, they pray for us, they caution us in the things and matters of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why some of us have strong foundation in the Lord. Why? Because we grew up in the right uh, hands, you know, and the right foundation in the hands of our parents in the Lord. So we should obey them. We should obey them. But that does not, uh, uh, that is not devoid of testing uh, every spirit. Hallelujah. So that we should be able to align ourselves to the purposes of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So um, we, sh we must guard our territories seriously as sons of God, knowing that we are the salt of the earth and we are the light of the world. All of us, therefore, uh, reflect that fact, you know, that we are the salt of the earth. So in our checklist, uh, uh, you know, uh, this spiritual checklist, this personal spiritual checklist is showing us the do's and the don'ts of our kingdom. The do's and the don'ts of our kingdom. So we should be able to align our lives to that. Hallelujah. And we are talking about personal responsibility. So as a person, you must have acquired knowledge of how in our kingdom we behave, of how we relate to our brethren, of how we carry ourselves 
or in this, hallelujah, we should be able to do that. We should be able to fit in that by the grace of God as an individual. Even before I gather with my brethren, my life, even my checklist should be showing me the do's and the don'ts of our kingdom. Because in every kingdom there are rules and regulations. Hallelujah. And uh, this is where, you know, the creation I was saying yesterday, it is not going to wait any longer because the sons of God are being manifested. And I'm talking this from my own personal experience. How many at the times I'll take my phone and I want to write something to somebody and the Spirit of God changes that. Many at the times I, I want to react over something because in our kingdom we are not called to react. We are supposed to act. It is faith with actions. It is acting. Hallelujah. And, and I see the Spirit of God changes that very quickly. Hallelujah. And I don't say what I will. Amen. I don't say what I had purpose. I don't do what I had purpose. Hallelujah. Because I am not on my own. There is somebody I am following and I'm carrying my, my clothes every day. So th and I, when I follow him, he's making me every day. Hallelujah. So that my God, I can attain the full stature of the Son of God here on earth as a full representation of him who died for me. Hallelujah. So this is where we are by the grace of God and uh, we, we are good to go. We are good to go. So we should, uh, the, the spiritual checklist should look, should help us to know our boundaries in every area the Lord has has, uh, has taken us in anywhere God has ordered our steps we should know you know our borders and maintain them there and maintain our reign even as we run our own race each one of us is on a race hallelujah and we should be able to finish our race after running the, the, that race with endurance we should be able to finish that race hallelujah and, and we should know there's something that is waiting for us eternally by the grace of God in the name of Jesus hallelujah so let us uh, um, let all read right. You know, let, let us uh, let, let the people around us read the right stuffs. You know, from our personal lives. Hallelujah. Let them read the right things. Amen. Let them enjoy the right, the, the right, the right, right. Hallelujah. Because we are the right of the world. Amen. We are the salt of the earth. So let them let them enjoy the right days from us. Hallelujah. Let them enjoy the right things from us by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the Lord is speaking to us this morning and saying, uh, you know, talking to us about the spiritual or, or, or that prophetic uh, personal checklist. So it should keep you at par, you know, with the will and the purposes of God in our lives. Why? The Bible says in the book of uh, Isaiah 46 and verse 10 that God calls the earth from the beginning. He knows the earth from the beginning and his counsel will start or his purposes will prevail. Hallelujah. And uh, Isaiah 14 is saying, you know, when God has purpose, nobody can turn it back. Nobody can annul that because he is God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we should be able to fit in there by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So it is a daily personal checklist. Are you hearing me, church? It is a daily personal checklist. So check your life daily. Regina, check your life daily. My God, at the end of the day, you know, like uh, the people who work in hotels and supermarkets, at the end of the day, accounts are reconciled. So can we do personal account reconciliation every moment? Because, you know, we, it is a time to be very movable, very vigilant and very sober because my God Jesus is coming back hallelujah nowadays we are not saying back you will come back Jesus is coming back hallelujah so we should be found very alert and we should be found on the right wedding garment else as we were saying yesterday you now the owner of the banquet will have us you know bowed on our hands and our legs and we shall be thrown out to eternal da damnation hallelujah so we should be very very alert and whatever we do anywhere god has taken you in that business in that company in that marriage know that you are representing the kingdom of god know that even there you are a son of god hallelujah so whatever you do you should do it unto him amen so let us as we said yesterday remain account about to God and today the Lord is saying have you every minute your personal checklist your personal spiritual checklist have it intact hallelujah that means you need the knowledge of the word of God you need the revelation of the word of God you need the understanding of the word of God hallelujah you need the fear of God so that you can know what God desires or what is the will of God everywhere he has taken you by his grace in the name of Jesus hallelujah and by so doing let me tell you my prayer the sons of God will be manifested on that. Amen? And the demarcation is going to be very clear between us who are serving God in righteousness and those who are not. Even if they are
I'm afraid you are recovering up in the name of the Lord. The demarcation of the decision is going to be very clear in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let us let, let us be very alert and let us uh, you know love the Lord and let us purpose to be on his side and let us purpose to be on his side. Hallelujah. So this particular morning, uh, it's our day number 24, uh, the Lord is speaking to us and saying, you know, speaking to us about our spiritual or prophetic personal checklist. Hallelujah. So have the word of God at your fingertips. So in that office, as you go today, you'll be able how to answer to the boss and how to handle even the people around you by the grace of God in Jesus' name. And let me tell you the truth. It's going to be so peaceful. It's going to be so peaceful in our work of it and we shall have that contentment you know and that's why he is saying you know uh, godliness and contentment you know it's a greatest gain amen godliness and contentment hallelujah godliness and contentment hallelujah that is the greatest gain hallelujah and uh, we, we should have that it is written in the word of god godliness and contentment that is the greatest gain hallelujah and, and we should have that at our fingertips by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ amen so the lord is calling upon us this morning um uh, to be able uh to be able to to have that to be able to have that yeah to be able um it is a book of timothy not not hebrews it's a book of timothy godliness and contentment contentment sorry it's first timothy chapter six and verse six first timothy chapter six and verse six so godliness and contentment hallelujah godliness and contentment that is all what you need because that is enough hallelujah that is the greatest gain so let us be contented as sons of god and let us have godliness that's why jesus is saying you carry your cross daily and follow me hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. And, and you know, it is your cross. It's a personal responsibility. You carry it daily and follow me. And when you follow me daily, and we are seeing that in the book of Matthew, the disciples who he requested that they follow him, he made them. Follow me, I will make you. Hallelujah. That means, my brethren, our spiritual checklist will always be reading us to the ways of God at whatever moment. Because why? At whatever moment in our lives, we are following Jesus in his mighty name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So uh, may, may the Lord help us by his grace and may he help us uh, to be able to maintain. May the Lord help us in our marriage. May the Lord help you to maintain in the will of God. In that company as you go out today, may the Lord help you in your checklist. Have the fear of God in that. Have the counsel of God in that. You know, have godliness in that. Have contentment in that. Hallelujah. Have prayer for, for all men in that. Have prayer for those who are in authorities in that hallelujah and so many other things that are written in the word of god so that we can reflect the fruit of the spirit of god in you know you know you know the components in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now failure to which failure to which we are going to suffer this uh, as i finish we are going to suffer this in the book of agarachan chapter 5 we are going to suffer this uh let me read for us this uh in the book of Galatians chapter 5 Galatians chapter 5 Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5. Uh, uh, the Bible says, I say to you, I say then, the, the Bible says Paul is speaking in Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the last of the flesh. It's a daily walk. Hallelujah. For the flesh lasted against the spirit, and the spirit, the spirit again is the flesh. And these are these two. Uh, are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. Amen? So the Bible says, but if you are read of the Spirit, you are not under the law. You are not under the law. Now the work of the flesh are evident. The works of the flesh are evident are adultery, fornication and uncleanness. So when you have a personal checklist as a child of God, you cannot commit uh, adultery. You cannot fornicate you know you cannot you you cannot have any cleanliness you cannot be ruled you cannot be ad, you cannot commit adultery you cannot co uh, engage yourself in sorcery hatred or contentions you know jealousies you know outbursts of wrath selfish ambition dissensions heresies you cannot be a part of that anyway murderers you know drunkenness reveries 
and like. And Paul is saying the people who practice this, even if they say they are born again, even if they, they have titles, even if they perform miracles, such people, Paul is showing us, he's telling us before hard, these people have no place in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. But for us who are in the spirit of God, the Bible says, but the fruit of the spirit is love. So when people look at us in our daily checklist, there is love, there is joy, there is peace, there is long suffering, there is kindness, there is goodness, amen, there is faithfulness, there is gentleness, there is self-control, hallelujah. So these are the things we should have in our checklist every day, and we should not be struggling with them. Why? Because the Spirit of God is already a deposit in us, and He's guiding us and leading us in the ways of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So may the Lord help us today, and kindly maintain your checklist intact. Let it be intact. Let your checklist, your spiritual checklist, be intact and be carrying it. May it be a deposit in you. Hallelujah. So have it at your fingertips so that we can do, I mean, we can know what to do. We can discern between the right and the wrong at whatever uh, at whatever time in our lives in the name of Jesus. And then whatever, we, uh, I mean, whatever we shall do and wherever we shall find ourselves, we shall be able to distinct that which is of our kingdom and that which is of another kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So personal, spiritual checklist is very vital in this hour by the grace of God. Amen. And, and we are not struggling with it. God is going to enable us to say no to any man of ungodliness because why? We belong to him and we are living by his masses in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless us. Kaitre, as you go out today, have your spiritual checklist at your fingertips as a son of God so that you can know anywhere you are, you are representing the kingdom of your father and you should be able to emanate that. You know, you should be able to uh, to reflect that by the grace of God. You should be able to uh, to live uh, as per that standard that is arrayed by the word of God in your life in the name of Jesus. And by so doing, the name of the Lord will be glorified in our lives in the name of Jesus. So we see you tomorrow, same time, five that in the morning, that is East African time. By the grace of God, Kaidre, go to our YouTube and follow up the word from day one and until now so that you can know what the Lord is uh, talking about and how he decides that we dress fitting as individuals for this prophetic moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So God bless you so much. Have yourself a good day. We love you and we are praying for you. Shalom, peace and grace of God. Amen.